reaction to the scenes in Kulak yesterday, please? Yesterday's scenes were completely unacceptable and really will not be tolerated. Um, Gardaí responded quickly uh, and in force and I want to commend the members of Angarda Shiakana for the way in which they did respond. It is completely unacceptable that any person, be it a member of Angarda Shiakana or security personnel, that they would be attacked when going about their business. Significant arrests were made, 15 men and women were before the courts and I expect that there will be more arrests later on today. Importantly as well, body cameras were used yesterday and will be part of the evidence uh, in the coming weeks and months. This is not a legitimate protest. This is criminal behaviour and activity and it will be treated as such. Were Gardaí able to handle the situation? Gardaí were out in force. Over 200 members between uh, Public Order Unit and Frontline Gardaí were out. They responded quickly and efficiently throughout the day and I want to commend them for bringing uh, what were unacceptable scenes uh, to a conclusion throughout the day. But there were significant numbers of people um, involved in these appalling scenes yesterday. Uh, it was a difficult day for the Gardaí, but again, I commend the work that they undertook um, and the fact that significant arrests were made. This is completely unacceptable behaviour. It will not be tolerated, uh, and the Gardaí will not tolerate it either. Did officials consult enough with local council members about uh, what was happening there? You know, a bit of, pe they're saying on the ground that they didn't know what was going on, and that led, the vacuum led to the violence. Engagement is taking place. The Minister of Women's Department are engaging with communities and it has been known for some time now that there would be men, women, children uh, taking refuge in Kulak. Uh, however, some people are using this and using communications as an excuse for what is simply criminal behaviour and it simply cannot be tolerated or accepted by any of us. So will it continue in Kulak? The, the, the plans to house uh, uh, asylum seekers there? Or, is that, or do you have to abandon that now? Absolutely not. Plans will continue as uh, set out. It is so important that we can provide accommodation to men, women and children who are fleeing extremely difficult circumstances. We have an obligation to provide international protection. It will be done in consult consultation with the communities uh, and I have to stress this point. This does not reflect the communities in Kulak, so many of whom have been extremely welcoming uh, to so many who need our support and our help. But this is unacceptable behaviour. Communications cannot be used as an excuse for these type of violent scenes.